Last year, we made $53 million for our clients with Google Ads, and I'm gonna show you how to find the best keywords with Google Ads, even if you're a complete beginner. So we'll wanna follow a few things quickly. You'll wanna install Google Keyword Getter because it helps you copy and paste keywords really fast, but if it doesn't work for you or it's not available in your location, no worries, you'll have to copy and paste manually. The next thing you'll need is a notepad ready to go because this is where we're gonna copy and paste a lot of our keyword ideas, right? You don't need anything fancy, just a simple notepad will do. And then of course, Google Keyword Planner. So you'll need your Google Ads account open, go over to the tools and then Keyword Planner, and then you'll be able to use their keyword research tool. So let's go through a few examples together. So what we'll do is we'll research for a dentist in Melbourne, Australia. And so let's say that they've got one campaign and then trying to advertise all services. So the way that your naming convention might be Mel because you're advertising in Melbourne and then use an EM dash and then all services because you're gonna have multiple services in different ad groups like Invisalign or dentist or a dynamic search ad. And I'm gonna show you how to actually choose the keywords quickly. So what we'll do is we'll look for Invisalign first. And so what you'll do is go discover new keywords and then change the location here to Melbourne. Okay, so Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, click save. The next thing we're gonna do is type in keywords around the first one, so Invisalign. So anything to do with intent. So Invisalign services near me, Invisalign near me, Invisalign dentist, Melbourne, Invisalign Melbourne. You know, anything that signifies someone is actually looking to buy something. You don't just type in the word Invisalign because it could mean like, how does Invisalign work? How much does Invisalign cost? How do you implement Invisalign or do Invisalign for patients? It's gonna to attract too many like weird searches that you don't wanna waste your money on. You just wanna spend your money on profitable auctions where someone is actually trying to buy a service or a product, right? So let's just go get results because we've got those keyword ideas. And if we scroll down, we can see a few different things here. So we see average monthly searches, we see a three month change and year on year change, whether or not the trend line is increasing. So we see this one is 22% increase in trend line in the last three months. We've got the top of page bid for the low range and high range. And this simply means the first three search results that you see, usually they're ads, right? And so these are usually the bids that people pay to get up there, right? So the low range and the high range of what auctioneers or other Google advertisers had paid for previously. So let's go through these together. So we've got average ranges. So we've got Invisalign close to me. I like that one. Now here's the biggest tip that I can give you, which a lot of people miss out on, is that Google will give you strong hints on the intent of a keyword or what the keyword means or what people are looking for based on just simply copying and pasting this into the search bar. So if I copy that and paste that into the search bar and go down to the results, I can see that if someone is typing into Google Invisalign close to me, what does Google think that this person is looking for? So in this case, Google is serving results for Invisalign doctor locator, Invisalign clear aligners, like services and things like that. So what don't we see here? We don't see YouTube. YouTube videos, we don't see blog posts, we don't see informational guides or Wikipedia pages. So that's a great sign. That means that Google thinks that this has got buying intent and it's worthy of me bidding on. You know, if I'm if I offer this as a service, this is a really strong keyword for me to bid on. Now, if I was seeing heaps of like YouTube videos and Wikipedia and all this stuff, it's probably an indicator that I should not bid on this because there's no buying intent or it's confusing intent. Okay, that's a big, big one. So the next thing here is we'll like copy this to our notepad, or in this case, I might just highlight it because we're gonna use the Google keyword getter below, and then we'll find some more keywords. So Invisalign clinics near me, we'll want that one. Invisalign office near me. So you can gauge that someone's probably, you know, wanting services when they type those in. Now free Invisalign consultation near me, I'm not sure if they do it for free. Let's say they don't. Then if they don't offer this service for free, you wanna make sure that you've got negative keywords ready to go, and you type in the word free as a broad match negative. So basically we're gonna add keywords in the negative keywords area for free so that we don't attract this kind of search by accident. Like we, we don't wanna bid on that because we don't want people looking for freebie stuff, okay? Invisalign treatment in me, there's only 10, but that's fine, we'll bid on that as well. There's no indicator on the top of page rate at the moment, so that's okay, you don't really need that. It's usually just to gauge how expensive the keyword is because if this said $100 per click, I might be like, Oh, I probably shouldn't bid on that. It's way outside of my budget. But if it's unknown, you're gonna have to take the risk anyway and just bid on those. Okay, so Invisalign provider search, not sure if that's applicable. So I might just go the word search as the root word we don't wanna enter into. Invisalign find a dentist. I'm not sure whether or not someone is just looking for a directory here. 
or not. And then we would just go phrase match, I would say, and then we would bid on those here. So those are the keywords I bid on now. And then I might start with five to 10 keywords and then launch that ad group, like run all the ads and write them later and set it all up. And I'll start with that and then I'll keep expanding upon this to open up the impressions. So dentists near me that have Invisalign, like the zero, I'm not sure whether or not it's worthy of my time. Someone's looking for removal tools or products. So I would probably say like a tool or like buy or anything that indicates they're trying to buy a product, which would mean they're another dentist and they're just trying to find equipment, you know, stuff like that. We don't want to attract other dentists, do we? We don't want to just attract consumers. Now, before I proceed, it says some of the keywords were removed and won't be used for keywords. Google does this when there's some sensitive keyword data. And what happens sometimes, especially for physios or psychiatrists or things like that, where it's a very sensitive industry, what you can do instead of just typing in the keywords manually, because Google's not going to give you the data, is you can actually pump in the website of your choice. So for example, if we find a random website, so I'll go to this one, I'll copy the website. And then what we need to do here is start with the website instead, paste that in, use this page only. So we're getting keyword ideas from this page. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna take keyword ideas from the actual page content itself. So go get results. And then what we can see from here is it's like, dental smile, blah, 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 blah. So I'm thinking that this page that I just went onto is main homepage. So it's not to do with Invisalign. If I go like Invisalign dentist and then something like that, and then find like a credible one, like maybe the Invisalign treatment page is a good one. And then we copy that. And then I'll go back over to Google and then paste that in instead. That's a more quality page. And then from here, it's gonna give me some good Invisalign words that I can use. Now, of course, we wouldn't use UK in this sense because it's in Melbourne, even though the search demand's there. But yeah, we've got all sorts of ideas that we didn't think of before here. So we've got Invisalign aligners. Now, I'm not sure whether or not people are looking to buy that. I'm not sure like if this is out of our price range. This is a normal price, by the way. Invisalign online, so they're looking to buy a product. So I would, of course, use the word online here because we wouldn't want to sell products here. Teeth straighteners near me, that might need to be warranted in its own ad group simply because it doesn't have the word Invisalign in it. So this is the distinguishment between different ad groups. Even though it means the same thing and it's on the same path, doesn't mean they belong in the same ad group. The way to tell this is if you type in teeth straighteners near me and then you see the top three search results are, or these four, and then you type in Invisalign me, me, so you go Invisalign, and then you find that the, the results are different. Well, that just means that Google thinks the intent is different. It's not quite the same. So therefore you should split them into their own ad groups and send people off to their own landing pages, one for teeth straightening dentist and one for Invisalign dentist. So you've got two landing pages, two separate ad groups. The reason you do this is because you get discounts on your keywords. Instead of paying like, let's say $13 a click, if you send someone to and show people an ad for teeth straightening near me, and then they go to a landing page for teeth straightening, you know, dentist Melbourne, then it's likely you'll get high quality scores, which means you'll get discounts. So you'll get CPCs closer to this, which means that you get discounts on your cost per click, which is amazing. That's how advertisers can make really profitable campaigns. So that's really fun. That's what we could do there. And literally you copy the same process. So with dentists, you might not want to accidentally overlap with the Invisalign ad group, so you might have to pop in the, the word Invisalign as a negative keyword so that it doesn't accidentally conflict with each other and then you're accidentally double bidding and wasting money. So let's keep going. We've got the dentist one. So we might just go back to start with keywords. We might do dental clinic near me, dentist Melbourne, anything that's got buying intent. So uh, dental services nearby, something like that. Let's just start with that. And then you can also use the website indicator as well. So in here, I'll just get rid of that. I accidentally put that in there. Dentist, whoops, Melbourne. So we've entered that in and then we can see that this is huge. So there's a huge increase in the three month change for people wanting dental clinic near me in Melbourne. There's 4,400 people searching for this a month. Dentist near me, 33,000. So it's massive. It's only medium competition. You don't need to worry too much about competition here. Even if it says hi, don't worry about that. That's more advanced. And we'll go through that in, a, in another tutorial. But all the CPCs are decent. Like there's none here that, uh, except this one, this says $27. This is cosmetic dentistry. So that would belong maybe in its own ad group if we offer cosmetic dentistry and do the same thing. That's a good keyword, but it costs more. And the low range and high range are quite vast. So with the dentist near me, you'd probably go dentist near me, bid on that, bid on that. 
you like select these, select that. Dental implants, implants is its own kind of like theme. So you would separate that into a different ad group and then you keep going walk-in dentist, maybe walk-in dentist, maybe walk-in dentist might belong in its own ad group. I don't know. And kids dentist again, like the intent is different. If someone's looking for a kids dentist near me, then they would need to go to a kids like dental page, like a landing page just for kids. And that would mean that you get better quality scores and all that kind of stuff. So think outside the box in that way. Don't bid on anything like dentures because dentures would need its own ad group or campaign. Just say anything that's dentist. Don't say word free. Again, you'd have to add the word free in here or add it to your account level negatives. And yeah, so let's say that we we went through we kept saying okay well in, in this case we're getting a lot of junk so we might have to say add filter go to keyword and then keyword here and then does not contain free and then comma and then does not contain implant does not contain kid does not contain cheap does not because we don't want people looking for cheap stuff all that kind of stuff you could say that first and then apply and that's going to get rid of a lot of those keywords so kids is still there so the problem with that is we'll do a semantic match instead. See if that fixes that issue. Okay, it's fixed that issue. So we can go through now and we've got holistic dentist near me. So that could, holistic dentist might belong in its own ad group because the word holistic might be like a game changer in terms of the theme. Type in, in Google, holistic dentist near me. See if the search results are different versus, you know, if you just do family dentist near me, right? If the search engine results are different, like right now it is very different, they belong in two different ad groups, okay? Anyway, I could talk about this for a very, very long time, but let's say that you do like dental clinic near me, local dentist near me would be fine. So let's say we copy these as phrase match, go over to here, paste these in as their own there and then you pick again up to five to ten keywords that's good to go and then a dsa is a dynamic search ad so i always run a dynamic search ad alongside my other ads just a split test right we can go into that in a separate video but i hope that really covers the way that intent works and the way that you don't want to cross over and overlap now same with like if you had an online store selling mattresses you would probably like let's say that you're selling australia wide so if you were selling australia wide go back here and then go just Australia and then country and then save. And then you might start with one ad group at a time. So let's say that you got King. So like you go King mattress for sale, buy King mattress online, buy King mattress. You know, just start with those. Again, you could use the URL if you run out of ideas. So we've got biking mattresses. These are amazing keywords. These are good, but this one's quite expensive. So it might be risky, even though there's 10 searches a month, but you just do all of those. If you don't like the word cheap, again, if, if cheap is a signal you don't like, you just go cheap as a negative keyword. If price is a signal, like they're shopping around, then maybe don't have price in there. And then you just go like bang, 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 like you do these. So you might just bid on those. Now, my Google keyword getter has not showed up. So in that case, I just copy these one by one. It's a phrase match. You just do a quotation mark around it and just do one at a time. That's why the extension saves a lot of time. Okay, you just do one at a time like that. Negatives here would have to be queen and also double and maybe single so that you don't accidentally enter into auctions for whatever reason into the queen ad group and the double ad group and vice versa the double would have to uh, have king as a negative queen as a negative and this would have to have the inverse of king and double and single you know stuff like that in the negatives okay you repeat the exact same process now for physio again this is a hard one because if i went into here and then just said like physio near me and physio melbourne now get results see how it says you don't have any keyword ideas yet that's shit it's like what are you gonna do well you have to go find like we'll go physio melbourne and then we find a physio in melbourne let's say that we've got this one we copy that one and then we use that as a url so we go start with the website use only this page get results see what pops up for keyword ideas. So we've got physio Pilates, so that would belong in a different ad group. Therapy is not the same as physio, right? Therapy could mean th therapist or, you know, all sorts of stuff. Physio to your home, I mean, that could be an opportunity. What do we have to play with here? Physio hydrotherapy, th physiotherapy exercise, nope. Physios near me open today, 390 people search for that. So that would be one on my list straight away. Physiotherapist fees near me, again, pricing indicators, uh, price shoppers, but it might be worth it. Physio care, not sure if that means the same thing, I'd have to look it up. And you just keep going through like that. And if you don't get good ideas, you just pop in another website. 
right? That's that's similar to what you what you need. And that way that at least you're forcing Google to give you keyword ideas. And then you just pump through the rest of them and keep going through. And I'm trying to keep this video super short. It's so long right now. So I'll stop it here. Hope that helps in the first steps. And for the next steps, we'll work on creating campaigns and, and writing the actual ad copy and best practices. So I'll see you there. Thanks.